this new southern border policy will block access to migrants trying to cross into the U.S. between ports of entry. Migrants will not have to wait to cross the legal way and apply through the CBP-1 app if they are looking for asylum. So this is a tactic that's already been tried by the Trump administration in a different iteration. It was found illegal, and now here we are through a slightly different tactic coming down the same approach. Marisa Limon is the executive director of Las Americas Immigrant Advocacy Center. She also told ABC7 this kind of disincentives to migration force people into more of harm's way. The reality is that people still have the need to seek protection and safety regardless of any U.S. policy, and so... For her and other migrant advocates in El Paso, this will only push people into more dangerous areas, weathering the hot temperatures of the upcoming summer and being into more direct harm in the Juarez El Paso region. Las Americas also have a civil society organization in Juarez, which helps migrants have access to information that could affect their asylum requests. Today we've been working very closely on getting all of the executive order language uh, translated into Spanish to be able to help educate as many people as quickly as possible. Some of the actions the Biden administration will do while trying to secure the border are strengthening the asylum screening process, resolve immigration cases, dismantle human smuggling and support immigration prosecutions, enhance immigration enforcement and seizing fentanyl at our border, among others. In Ciudad Juarez, Heriberto Pérez, ABC7.